Hello students, let us have a look at the question first of all. So the question is that the color of light absorbed by an echo solution of CuSO4 is and we have been given here four options and we need to find out the correct one. Now in this question we need to find out the color absorbed by the uh, Cu plus 2 ion right in the DD transition. So what exactly happens here that copper sulfate right in aqueous solution is blue in color right why it is blue in color because of cu plus 2 ion right cu plus 2 ion has an unpaired electron right and that unpaired electron show dd transition okay now what exactly is a dd transition so what happens that on the attack of a ligand for say water right uh, d orbital splits into two energy levels right according to crystal field splitting theory the lower level is called as t2g and the higher level is called as eg right now what happens that if any unpaired electron is left then it generally absorb the visible radiation the energy from the visible radiation and get itself excited to the high energy level get itself promoted to a high energy level that is eg and it returns back after some time right radiating the absorbed energy okay and this absorbed energy falls under visible spectrum right but the catch is that the uh, energy that it absorb right is the complementary color of what it radiates right so if it is radiating a blue color uh, you know after dd transition after this phenomena then it must be uh, it must have been absorbed the complementary color of it right so we only need to find out that in this question so that particular color is orange red right so orange red is something that it absorbed and blue color that is the complementary of orange red is something that it is emitting right and that blue color is visible by us now let us have a look at the options so in the options the first option itself says orange red and all the other three options which are blue green yellow and violet are incorrect ones right so this is how we can uh, try and solve this question i hope this is clear to you thank you hello everyone so the question is which of the following will not be oxidized by O3 right so first of all uh, we, if we talk about oxidation so oxidation is ability of compound to lose the electron right now if we talk about the uh, first of all in KMnO4 right so KMnO4 is uh, having oxidation state of Mn is plus 7 right and in this case uh, Mn is having oxidation state of what we can write here second case it exhibits oxi oxi oxidation state of plus 3 right so in KMnO4 right KMnO4 exhibiting the maximum oxidation state that is actually equals to plus 7 so that is maximum oxidation state and it does not go and un undergo oxidation further it can't it can be reduced but it cannot undergo oxidation means that it cannot it has no ability to lose further more electron so uh, we can say that uh, this is maximum for this and if we talk about for FeSO4 right so FeSO4 Fe is having oxidation number of uh, so it is a plus 2 right so plus 2 in this case it can be oxidized further to plus 3 and so on and uh, similarly if we write for these two right so this this will be oxidized further but uh, what we observe that uh, in case of KMnO4 right KMnO4 it is only at its maximum oxidized state oxidation state and it cannot be oxidized by O3 right so correct option for this question is option C thank you